George Westinghouse was a Pittsburgh entrepreneur and engineer born on October 6, 1846. He was the eighth of ten children. Growing up, his father owned a shop for agricultural machinery and small steam engines. After serving in the Army during the Civil War and shortly attending college, Westinghouse returned to his father's shop in 1865. While at the shop, he developed and patented a rotary steam engine. Later in the year, he also invented a device for placing derailed trains cars back on the tracks. Continuing interest in trains led Westinghouse to one of his first major inventions, which was the air brake. The air brake eliminated problems and limitations of using manually operated brakes to stop trains by instead using compressed air to stop the trains. Eventually, the air brake became the standard brakes for trains all over the world. Since the invention, the air brake has been modified to work with big transportation vehicles like semi trucks and construction vehicles like dump trucks. After the invention of the air brake, Westinghouse noticed a vast increase in railroad traffic and recognized the need for better signaling devices and interlocking switches. So he invented a complete electrical and compressed air signaling system. These ideas soon turned into the Union Switch, the signal company owned in Pittsburgh. In 1881, five years later, Westinghouse founded the Westinghouse Electric Company. Later in life, he was also proclaimed as the greatest living engineer. Without the use of STEM, none of these great inventions would have been possible. And by making an emergency the brake valve in, he takes the brake valve in and shoves it as far as he can to the right. Vent, very big hole in his brake pipe signal pipe, is through all this pipe. And in each valve, which is the 30 out 6 reference I made, is going to vent its own 90 psi as we go. So you're going to hear it kind of and it's going to run back to the back. Whenever you're ready, all the way over to the right.